Hello, my Cancers, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Of course, I'm Debbie, and I'm reading for November, what is it, 24th to the 30th. Now, we have a full moon. Remember, you are the moon baby, so this is going to be very enhancing for you. Oh, so, but I also did a, um, an overview, something about everything seems louder, so take a peek at that. Also, remember, these are general readings, may or may not resonate. Take what you like leave the rest. thing about you, my Cancers, is so many people underestimate you, and I actually, it makes me smile. It, it amuses me, my Cancers, how much they underestimate you. You, you care a lot. You, you, know, you're, you have this very emotional sense about you. They just don't realize how smart you actually are, and, um, you know, and maybe it's because you let your emotions rule a little more than let your thoughts or your brains out but when it comes time when it is needed and i think that i i'm not saying it's needed for now but i think that this time this full moon in gemini whoa you're going to be sharp you're going to be sharper than you know sharp as that knife okay so let's see what else we might have here this is gonna really pull up i'm gonna say my um my cancers this is a time and again i don't do financial business kind of stuff but if you were to look at stuff, this is where you're going to make sure that, um, oh, you're going to make sure your finances are in order. You are going to make sure that you get what, you, what you're supposed to get. It's a very, I get a very sharp thought process for you right now, my cancers. Okay, and I know, I know, Steve, you're looking to get things paid off. And I, I don't know why they're not, except that I think you're close, you know, and again, too, I know time is, time tells, but it's like everything is closer than it's ever been. Good energy, good positive financial and sharp business energy too. You're like the king of Ariel, and it's all about being that subject matter expert. So in, embrace that, okay? And have the confidence that that brings along. Have confidence in yourself. I'm sorry if others have tried to um, pull you down. Um, it's let, let, let go. Let go of that. That's their issue, not yours. Okay? Whoever needed to hear that, that's what I was feeling. Remember, full moon in Gemini. Embrace the flow of life. Release, relinquish, request whenever we have that full moon. So let's see. Our first card is the five of Raphael. Kind of goes along with what we're talking about. So five is change, positive, negative. Raphael is your energy, water energy. Yours, Scorpio, but it's Pisces. And Pisces is a powerful player right now. Fluid, emotional, spiritual energy. This is things happen for a reason, and you have to embrace that God, source, whoever that is to you, is going to bring you into that better place because of it. This is one of those times that says when, you know, when, what, what do they say? When uh, God closes a door, he opens, she, he opens a window. This is that type of stuff. Do not sweat the small stuff anymore. Don't let it try to trap your emotions. Don't give it any more emotional currency. Everything happens for a reason. Release regret and embrace the opportunities for happiness. Search for the silver lining. So basically, as you leave one situation, another situation opens, there could, you know, and, it, and it's, a pos it, it's, it's moving you into that light, okay? So it, it's kind of like, you know, from the, from the darkness comes the light. Here we go. Next card is the two of Gabriel. So again, so two is a choice, is about, okay, choices, decisions, crossroads, partnering, partnering together to become a, to have a stronger front. Gabriel is a fire energy. It is your Leo. It is your Aries. It is your Sagittarius. Aries and Sagittarius are the big players right now. Um, fire energy, uh, passionate, burning, determined, very, very content. I mean, committed. This is you getting out there. This is you believing in yourself. It says, make bold and ambitious choices. Great progress is possible. Important relationships with people who share your vision. So whatever it was that has put you in this space, you are stronger and you know more than you've ever known before, okay? You have to believe that, my cancers. You have to believe in yourself with that, have that confidence. This is, this is looking out and saying there is so many more possibilities and it, it's like the possibilities are endless. Here we go, next card. 
the seven of Ariel. So we have Ariel energy, that is Earth energy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Taurus has that, you know, has Jupiter in it. So it's very, very powerful, very positive. Um, you know, Capricorn has to finish, is finishing up the damage. It has, you know, Capricorn came in and just basically like a sledgehammer, um, you know, sledged everything, hammered everything. And now Capricorn has to, you know, the um, Pluto, I should say, Pluto and Capricorn like sledgehammered everything. Now Pluto has to clean up some of its mess and create a better space. The seven is a divine umbrella. It means that you are being divinely prepared and divinely watched over. The <clears throat> seven of Earth, seven of you know, so all of this has been going on. You are now, you are now so much stronger, so much more bolder. And that, and this week you're coming out. And this week you have the confidence. And this week it says you are more than ready to take those next steps. And again, that could be in your job, your career. It could also be in a personal relationship. It's like you're taking the upper, you're taking the upper hand. You're becoming more of the dominant. You are becoming more dominant in the relationship. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for the harvest. So just wait for it. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. So it's like you're the, you've are you got the upper hand. Okay, my Cancer, you got the upper hand. Okay, let's see what we've got going here. Let's see what we have here. Higher power, Holy Spirit. What do you have for my Cancers, especially with this full moon? Oh, okay. It fell. Ah, five of thought. So we have those pesky fives again about change, change, change. Thought is our air energy. You've got water, fire, earth, and now air. A very balanced reading for you. Air is our Aquarius, our Gemini, our Libra. Thought processes, thinking things through, making plans. The path you were on seemed like the right one, but now you've run into a challenge. There's a better direction for you, and this is very close with this one. There is a better direction for you that will make you much happier in the end. You may not see it, but it's true. Changes are necessary so that, so that you can get back on track. Avoid negative people who are draining or bring unwanted drama into your life. I love that. Avoid them. Not needed anymore. Not needed in your life. Okay. So there's a lot, there is this, there is this sense of strength, there is this sense of purpose. Uh, like I said, you are, you know, you are, you are the more, you are stronger with everything and there is a good energy here. Now I know that this usually has sneaky snake, but I think that this is the negative people. So watch out for, watch out for those negative people, keep away from them. Um, it's going, this is, you're going to be happier in the end. You may not think it, you may not see it, but it will happen. Okay, let's go on here. Right now, inspirational words. Let's see, for our cancer. What else is there for our cancer? There's a change. So there's a change in emotions, change in thoughts. You're, 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 you're like, you know, getting that sense of purpose, and you are just so ready for everything. You might have to wait a little bit. Yep, you know, wait for a little bit, just kind of... Uh, what did it say? Review your progress, make plans, have patience, pay have patience and wait. Okay, let's see. Let's see what we've got going on here. This one is reversed for our cancers. Magnolia fairy. Okay. Let's see. Can we get this in? Ah, when you release doubt, you will discover the astounding power and strength deep within you. Wow. Kind of what I'm saying. You got, you know, the confidence. Release doubt. Release doubt. Okay. Here we go. Let's see. Like I, you know, I, I have, people have said, you know, Debbie, you've got crazy faith. Well, you know what? I have crazy faith because I've seen crazy miracles. Okay. So that has... And usually, and I will tell you, I will tell you all the time, <laughs> the miracles came after I just had faith, okay? So it's kind of like you believe first, you release the doubt first, and then the miracles come. Here we go. Let's see. Crystal or energy for our cancers. What do we have for our cancers here? 
what do we have for our cancers? Reversed? Aragon star clusters. Sometimes you do need a little bit of grounding energy. Earth healing, grounding, stress relief also helps with vitality. Helps with vitality. So you might need to ground down a little bit. That's okay. That helps you with your emotions. Okay? Okay, let's go on. Remember, full moon in Gemini. Embrace the flow of life. Let's see what else. What else for our moon babies? What else? What other message for our moon babies? Moon babies. Here we go. Moon magic. Here we go. Okay. New moon in Aries. Huh. What is this all about? Go for it. I feel like it's this boldness. Go for it. You, yeah, think about that. What is it all about? Believe in yourself. Know that you're ready for so many changes. Believe, you, you have gone through so many changes. Let's put it this way. You've gone through so much, my cancers. You are more than ready to step into that space, into that, into that place of um, authority in many ways. Okay. My cancers, do me a favor. Like, share, subscribe. Click on that bell for notifications. You make me happy when you do it. <laughs> Actually, I need you to do it. So please do that. Also, if you're watching me on Rumble, Rumble me. As always, though, my cancers, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.